you put all this blood, sweat, and tears. And in a lot of circumstances in Canada, you put a lot of, of uh, shareholder investment, a lot of cash into uh, developing a brand. And they've developed, I tell you, these people that we've met at these shows are some of the most wonderful people I've ever met in any business I've ever been involved in. Wonderful, sincere, intelligent, sharp people. And they're out there building these brands, blood, sweat, and tears. They start a brand. They get the brand going. Um, they have their LP. They create their mechanism for getting it to the consumer. And then the consumer opens the package, uh, largely like you have, John, and they have an experience of this, this, the crumble in the jar or the crumble in the bag is so ridiculous that it's just it's, it's devastated by the time it gets to you. And it's, it's uh, not what you expected. What are you going to do as a consumer? You're not going back to that brand. All that no. investment, all of that blood, sweat, and tears that went into creating a brand, they're not going back. Yeah. Right. And it's that first moment of truth, if you would, you know, hey, or if you're first time coming into the market and uh, you go to the dispensary and, and somebody tells you, oh, you got to try that brand. Oh, I've never tried it before. Um, pull it out and it's dry and, oh, geez, you open the container, it's, you know, it's crumbly. You can see all this stuff in a bottle. Oh, geez, um, you know, I'm not going to try this again or else I'm going to go to a different LP or I'm, I'm going to go somewhere different. So you, if you want a repeat customer, um, that's a bad thing to do, right? You don't want that first experience to just be horrible for someone. 